it was incredibly isolating to be separated from other students like that. Ruben Smyers gives us a look into the life of a high schooler who happens to be transgender. The 16-year-old Ocean County student recently battled his school district for the right to use the boys' room after they told him he didn't belong in either the girls' or boys' bathrooms. And I was just really fed up with the situation because I was just using this one unisex bathroom like all the way in this one end of the school. And my school, the way it's set up, is it's like two football field long hallways stacked on top of each other. So it was incredibly inconvenient. So he took to the internet, starting an online petition. I posted it on Facebook and I tweeted it a couple times and it was just gathering so much more momentum at, like immediately than I expected it to. He says the problem really came to a head before a big choir performance when he was notified he couldn't use either of the dressing rooms with the rest of the students. I was like sitting on the ground in the hallway, you know, trying to like do my math homework all by myself. Garden State Equality caught wind of his efforts and wrote a letter to Ruben's school advocating on his behalf. The administration eventually came around. Andrea Bowen says although it's buried, both New Jersey and federal laws are clear. It also says explicitly, even in the case of sex segregated facilities, um, people need to be able to use facilities based on their gender identity and expression. What other kid is going to have to go through this and why? More importantly, why? It's tough enough in our culture for a kid to come out as gay or bisexual and transgender. If we can all learn and educate ourselves, which I think is the most important thing we can do, we can, we can grow from those things. At Rowan University, gender neutral bathrooms are popping up all over campus. Three locations so far with more on the way. Anyone can use them. It is incumbent upon the university to create that environment where all people feel safe and all people feel included. I feel like it's, it's probably a pretty good support for our community in general. I'm more neutral on them because I don't see them causing a problem except for the more ignorant people who feel that they are truly a problem. So what is the difference between an odd gender and a unisex restroom? Advocates say it comes down to identity. Gender is the way an individual identifies themselves, while sex is the genetics with which they were born. I think that language, the gender neutral language, although it's confusing to many people, is really important to um, members of the community who would be using these bathrooms. It's also really important that somehow in the process we start educating the parents because Instead of raising the kid you thought you were going to have, raise the one God gave you. Ruben has plans to work with Garden State Equality, raising awareness for other transgender students in districts around the state. In Ocean County, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.